Okay, and let's kick off. So uh, today we'll be talking again about CLI for Microsoft 365, and this is our third demo out of five demo series we are delivering together. And in the last uh, two demos, we uh, we shown what is and how how to get started with CLI and some tips and tricks of, uh, with some awesome unique features CLI has that other similar tools uh, don't have. So it makes make it a bit stand out, uh, standing out. And today uh, we will be presenting how you can use CLI for Microsoft 365. If <laughs> Okay, uh, how to manage your uh, uh, tenant. So a uh, real life use cases. And uh, before we start, just a short introduction. So hi everybody, my name is Adam. I am a simple dev and uh, MVP, uh, a maintainer of a couple of uh, PMP products maybe you, you use and love. And do reach me out, out directly if you have any kind of question. And today with me, a real rock star of, the, of today's demo. Da -da -dum -da -dum. <laughs> Uh, hi, thank you. Thank you, Adam. Uh, my name is Michal. Uh, and just a, a brief introduction from my side. I'm a SharePoint and Microsoft 365 consultant. You might know me uh, as a contributor to CLI for Microsoft 365 and a creator of uh, Power Automate Actions extension. You can find um, some of my ideas and solutions published on my blog, LinkedIn, or X. So back to you, Adam. Thank you. Okay, cool. And before I pass my voice back to Michal, who will be presenting the CLI in action, so a real, real core part of today's demo, I'll just do a short intro about how many commands and uh, CLI has. So we basically CLI for Microsoft, Microsoft 365 is about managing your whole tenant, and we have a bunch of commands covering almost all of the areas, not only SharePoint Online, but also Planner, a lot of Power, Power Platform areas, Power View, and also SPFX, so it's boosting your de uh, development, which is really unique. And uh, the way you you write the commands is also really intuitive. So you don't start you don't start with a verb, but you end with it. So you, the action is at the end. So if I would, for example, would like to add a new list to a SharePoint site, I go SPO list, and then I pick one of the actions I want to do: add, get, remove, and so on and so forth. But the, uh, our commands are not only like wrappers around a single API endpoint, like a SharePoint API or Graph API endpoint. We also have commands that cover a whole scenario of, thing, of things that would, would require you to write a bunch of codes to do it, and we deliver it in a single line. So for example, we have a command that allows you to send an adapted card to a Teams channel, or for example, a single command that will allow you to register a new Entra uh, app uh, registration together with setting up permissions, with the authentication methods you want to use, and so on and so forth. So this is uh, usually a, 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 um, a starter point for every uh, development, right? Uh, we have, for example, a command that allows you to check if the user email wasn't comprom isn't isn't present and uh, wasn't compromised in one of the uh, have I been pound. Uh, Report so uh, have an it, this gives you an ability to have an like additional security layer to check your users if uh, their emails are present in one of those reports and if yes then do let them know that they should probably reset their password and this comment specifically uh, needs additional uh, AP. Uh, uh, additional license in the have I been found service. Okay. Uh, we also have a command that allows you to validate your MS Graph connector if it's properly set up for to be leveraged in search and in copilot. So this is really awesome. And for example, a, a single command that will generate you an SPFX, SPFX, uh, SPFX package with your HTML snippet ready to be deployed and presented on, on SharePoint Online. So a single command that will give you a really simple web product. Really awesome. And now I'll pass my voice to Michal, who will be presenting you real use cases, how he uses CLI in action. So Michal, the stage is yours. OK, thank you. I hope that you can see my screen. Uh, yes, we do. And if, and if so, OK. So. Uh, at the beginning, I would like to mention that today's demonstration is based on the two script samples available on our CLI for Microsoft 365 page. I highly encourage you to visit this page as it offers many useful examples, like one of them, um, Flow Runs Day Summary, created by Adam, and also Retirement Report of SharePoint Admins and Azure ACS, mentioned on this call before, created by me. 
Okay, so let's imagine that it's Monday and you have a list of tasks to accomplish. Among these tasks, it's a routine one of gathering status of uh, an important uh, power automate flow that runs every weekend. And uh, also your manager came, uh, has come across some articles about the deprecation of certain features in SharePoint by 2026 and wants you to analyze them. You realize that some of these features are utilized within your tenant, but you are not certain where exactly. So you make some notes, right, uh, uh, of all steps you need to take up today. So checking flow in Power Automate, inspecting legacy ACS in Entra, searching for remote event receivers across uh, various SharePoint sites, creation on uh, an Entra app to access all these sites. Uh, and of course, you would like to present the results uh, on MS Teams channel and Excel files. And luckily, you recall seeing messages from Adam on social media prizing the CLI for Microsoft 365 as a great tool. So yeah, so let's explore it uh, a little bit. So I will begin with um, um, with one remark that, like in the TV cooking show, where some preparation is done beforehand, I have already gathered initial details about my flows, apps. And I also created an adaptive card template, a webhook to, to connect to my MS Teams channel. And furthermore, uh, I have uh, the Entra app ready to use it further. So let's begin with uh, the initial uh, command to, the, to connect to a CLI. So I will use the standard device code method to do so. Okay, I need to accept some of the messages here. Let's back to the to the console. Okay, and because um, in the new version we have opportunity to use different connections, so just to be sure, let's use the connection which I already defined, right? So a me connection. Uh, let's also check if I really have some access to my tenant uh, using um, command spo site list, uh, just to list. Uh, some sites from my tenant. Okay, it looks like everything is set up, so I can clear the console. And let's begin with the task about flows. So uh, first of all, I will use uh, uh, command flow run list just to get uh, succeeded ones, uh, succeeded runs of my flow. And as you can see, we have uh, we need to provide information about environment name, name, a flow name, which we can get from the uh, flow URL status. So I choose the succeed one at the beginning and trigger start time just to filter out the older uh, runs. Okay, so let's run the command. Let's confirm if we have some data. Yes, okay, we have something, so I can do the same with failed and cancelled. You can notice that the status parameter is different here. And uh, I will wrap all of the data which I gathered with the JSON and assign it to the variable data card. Okay, and the last point is to send the information to uh, my um, uh, MS Teams uh, channel. So using a uh, command adaptive card send using the URL of the webhook, which I have created before our meeting, also the adaptive card template, with, which I also created before our meeting, and card data, which we um, which we get uh, just right now, I can send the adaptive card to the Teams channel. So let's let me switch to the to the Teams, and yes, as you can see. We have the basic uh, adaptive card with some standard, with some small information about flow, about uh, number of runs per status, and the button to navigate the flow. OK, so it looks like the first task is done. So we can go, we can switch to the task about uh, retirement report. So let me come back to the to the console, let's clear it out. 
Okay, so first of all, uh, as I mentioned before, I have created the Entra app uh, to connect. And now I will use different met method to log in, uh, the certificate one, because we would like to connect all sites. So I don't want to use my private account to connect all the sites, right? Okay, so it looks like I'm logged in. Let's check the list of connections. So as you can see, we have both, so the app and the, my private one. But just to be sure, let's use the, uh, the app connection. Okay, I have cleared out everything. And okay, first of all, we will take the uh, all uh, en enterprise applications from Entra, uh, but filtered by service principle type. So we would like to get only legacy uh, apps from Entra. Okay, it's done. And here you can imagine that I will go through all SharePoint sites on my tenant. Of course, we have limited time, so I will do it only for one. But uh, for this one, uh, I will get uh, event receivers uh, using the SPO event receiver list. And again, I use query parameter to filter out uh, uh, the data, the event receivers created by Microsoft. So I just want to uh, get only custom ones. Okay, so this data we also have. And uh, the next point is to get the uh, uh, files from App Catalog <clears throat> with the extension .app. So it means that it's the old solutions, so not SPFX ones. Okay, so we have this data as well. And the last one is to get the installed applications on one of the site. Okay. <clears throat> and the last thing is to create the Excel files. But in this case, I will just copy paste some of the code. So this code will produce uh, free Excel files for, for reports for uh, then to analyze the, the data which we gathered. Okay. As we can see, it's just created. So let's check one of them. For example, Azure ACS. And yes, we have this data here. Okay, so as you can see, using one tool, I was able to connect and execute actions from different services between uh, the M365 tenant. Uh, this way you can work smarter, not harder, right? And the CLI library is a very powerful tool, but still there might be instances where certain commands are missing. In such cases, you can always share your idea on GitHub in issues uh, section or Discord server. And last but not least, so thank you very much for the for your attention. And reserve your time in the calendar for April 4th for our next session about uh, boosting your development with CLI for Microsoft 365. Uh, you cannot miss it. Uh, for more information, visit the CLI page or join our Discord channel. So yeah, so thank you for the attention and that, that's all from my side.